So everyone probably knows how to carve a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween, but in this video I'm going to show you four other ways how you can decorate pumpkins for this time of year. Now these are really fun DIY projects and I love how each of these pumpkins turned out and there's even a really kid-friendly idea on here that you can do with your whole family. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and try out some of these unique pumpkin designs. So this first idea is for this cute but kind of creepy spider sitting on a pumpkin. So first you're going to need um, a styrofoam shape that looks kind of like a spider. I don't know, I just picked this egg shape because I thought it kind of worked. And I used a wooden skewer that I just pierced into the bottom of this styrofoam form so that it's easier to hold while I'm painting it. And to paint it, I'm just using a black acrylic paint. You can pick this up at any hobby store. And then I'm going to just paint that whole styrofoam shape completely black. And to dry it, I just stuck it up in a glass um, with the wooden skewer so that it can dry perfectly. So to do the legs, we're going to need some black pipe cleaners. Fun fact, in German, these are called chimney sweeps. I think that's really funny. And I actually have a practice egg here. I bought a second one just in case I screw it up. And then I kind of measured out the length of each leg. Of course, you're gonna need eight legs and then you're gonna cut them to size so that you have about eight legs. I made the front legs a little bit shorter than the back, but you can really do as you like. And then basically here, I'm just trying out the method for how to put the pipe cleaners into the egg shape and this worked really well. So I used some googly eyes here. Now spiders have many eyes, so I used a bunch of eyes and glued those on just using some regular glue. And then I just pierced a little hole into the styrofoam um, and then put the pipe cleaner inside. It worked really well. The wire kind of stuck into the styrofoam and was very solid. So then you're going to do that and put in all the eight legs. So here's my spider and I'm going to call her Sylvia because I don't know, she kind of looks like a Sylvia to me. So she's really, really cute. And then you're going to position it how you want it on the pumpkin. Now I have a really big orange pumpkin for this. And then I'm using some more of these wooden skewers. So I'm skewering the half into the base of the pumpkin and the other half is gonna be sticking out. So I used two of them. And then I just took Sylvia and stuck her onto those skewers. Sorry, Sylvia, but that was really really, really secure. And then you're going to take the spider legs and using the end of the metal of those pipe cleaners, you can kind of stick those into the pumpkin. I made a little bit of a hole with the knife and then just stuck them in. So it really looks like the spider is sitting on top of the pumpkin. And then I also added these cute plastic spiders. Okay, some people might not find this cute, but um, yeah, I took some plastic spiders that I got at a craft store and just glued those right onto the pumpkin. So if you can find some of that cobweb stuff, I really couldn't find any here in Switzerland, but you can pick that up anywhere in North America. You could add some of that as well. And here's the final look. So these next pumpkins kind of remind me of Beetlejuice or like Crazy Clown, something like that. And for this, you're going to need some special squash that have these intense ridges. I don't know what the name of these is. I went to like a squash pumpkin farm and just picked them up. So just get some with very, very deep ridges. And you're going to need some paint again. So I took a black, a white, and a red. And then you're basically just going to paint each ridge a different color. So this one I did white and red and the other one I did black and white. You just want to take a little paintbrush and go into each groove and then you want to reverse each groove. So one is going to be white, the next going to be is red. So these ones take a little bit of time but these are really, really simple. I mean, it's really just about painting each groove a different color. You could even do this like rainbow color if you wanted. I think that might look really fun as well. I think the black and white one is really cool because it definitely reminds me of Beetlejuice, which is such a classic Halloween movie, but you know, it's totally up to you what color you want to do. And then here's what they look like once they're dry. So for the next pumpkin, we're gonna be doing some fun glitter pumpkins. I mean, look how shiny and sparkly these are. These are so much fun. So I picked out um, two different sizes and I'm going to spray one gold and one silver and you can get this kind of chromey color at any hardware store. So this one I sprayed gold and just let that dry. And now we're gonna do the glitter. So I have some gold glitter. I have one that's sort of more into a coppery, orangey shade and one is just a straight up gold shade. I think it's really fun if you use different um, colors of glitter. 
And then you're going to just need some spray adhesive, which is really simple to apply. Just spray that on, on the areas where you want the glitter to really stick. And then you just wanna generously douse your pumpkin in glitter. Um, I just put it down on some newspaper so that, you know, it catches any of the glitter. You can reuse it or, you know, just so it doesn't get everywhere. And then I'm just going to apply the glitter in the two different colors, basically wherever I sprayed the adhesive glue, and this will stick really, really well. And make sure you also get some along the sides if you want the glitter to go all the way along the sides as well. So for the other one, I decided to spray this silver, so just let that dry. And then I'm going to use some glitter and some stars, and these stars are actually holographic, so I thought that was neat. Again, I'm going to use some of the adhesive spray and just put that on. In this one, I just decided to concentrate the glitter right on the top because this is a much smaller pumpkin. And then I'm using some of this holographic glitter, first of all, it kind of has this white iridescence to it, which I thought was really pretty. Then you wanna shake off some of the excess glitter so that you don't have too much. You can either apply a little bit more adhesive spray just so that the stars really stick. And then I just dumped a little bit of the stars right on top and then kind of just push them into place um, so that they're really at the right spot. So for the last one, this is a really great um, project to do with kids because it's super easy and it's kind of this multicolor fun pumpkin. And for this, you're gonna need a white pumpkin and a box of crayons. And what you wanna do is just pick out super colorful crayons and then take the wrapper off the wax crayon so that you really just have this wax stick left over. And then I just took some glue, so whatever glue works for you, and then you're just gonna glue those wax crayons right along the top of the pumpkin, kind of along the crown area. And you can kind of see, you know, which color goes well next to the other, so I kind of just mix it all up. So once you've glued those all on, you just wanna give it a moment to dry. And then I first tried out the hair dryer method, and so you basically put your hair dryer on the hottest heat level that you have and just blow it, and it kind of melts, but this is super, super messy, and it took forever. Oh my God, I was going crazy, and it just wasn't working. I just got really frustrated because some of the crayons melted really easily, and then some of them just like wouldn't melt, so I was like, what am I doing wrong? So this was like super frustrating, and I decided I should look for a different method so I decided to put it in the oven. I thought that was so much easier. I got a baking sheet with some parchment paper, put the whole pumpkin on top, and then like the crayons had kind of all fallen off and it was just kind of annoying. So I stuck those back onto the pumpkin and then just put it in really, really high heat for a few minutes, just watch it in the oven. I put it on maximum heat and the crayons melted perfectly, super, super fast. And because it's such high heat and only so short, like the pumpkin doesn't cook or anything. So this worked great. I definitely recommend the heat method for this, the, the oven method. It's so much easier. And then that's the final result of this crazy colorful pumpkin. So let me know in the comments which one of these designs is your favorite. And if you do recreate them, I would absolutely love to see pictures on Instagram. Send me your pictures um, on Snapchat or on Twitter as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got lots more Halloween videos coming up and I will see you very soon. Bye.